Hey guys, my name's Chris, welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Gen 2 IDA, that's the Improved Direct Action Shirt from Optimal Performance System, that's it, Ops, as a lot of you guys will know it, uh, you are tactical. I've got actually quite a lot of gear, mainly apparel uh, and uniforms made by Ops, uh, but I haven't really mentioned them much in the past. I did one review quite a while back of some, other, some of the trousers they make, I'll put a link to that just here. But like I said, I've got quite a lot of stuff from them, but I haven't really done too many videos to feature it, which I'm not sure why, because it's really good stuff, it's really good kit, it's certainly very competitively priced for the quality, which is kind of why a lot of the reason why I wanted to do this video today. So like I say, this is the Gen 2 Improved Direct Action shirt, so you see, you know, your standard combat cut uh, shirt, UBAX as we call it over here. Um, so you've got your more standard uniform looking type sleeves and then you've got a lighter weight section in the torso which is ideal for wearing underneath body armour and vests and all that sort of stuff. I've picked up two of them, here we've got the AOR2 or the, uh, I don't think the material is actual AOR2, I think it's the, the US Navy stuff. It's got the little uh, United States Navy little emblems in there. Uh, and then I picked up another one in the ATAX AU. The two are the same, so I've just picked out the, uh, the greener one here just to stand out a bit from the background. The only difference is that the elbow reinforcement on this particular version has a slightly different denier cordura to the ATAX, but it's very, very minor. Apart from that, exact same thing. But you can, you know, these are just two examples. These aren't terribly common camouflage patterns, but it shows you the sort of thing that ops make. They tend to keep very up to date with the with all the latest stuff. So if you want stuff like ATAX, Cryptek, um, different kinds of multicam, uh, the, the AOR stuff, all that sort of thing, definitely they're, they're uh, one of the main places you want to check out. Now each shirt comes with a set of elbow pads, so you don't have to buy them separately. They're just a nice uh, sort of formed foam, thick enough to do the job without being excessive. They're just, once they're actually inside the shirt, they'll just sit on the other. Like they're pretty, Good formed shape onto the arm, and there's a there's a pocket inside the sleeve for each of those, which I'll show you in a minute. Construction-wise, the sleeves themselves are a good old 50/50 nylon cotton blend, pretty standard for uniforms. It's got the ripstop grid. I don't know if you'll be able to pick that up in the camera, but it's a, it's a ripstop fabric. The center portion here in the green is 100% uh, cotton. It's in a jersey knit, so it's, it just means it's very smooth, very comfortable to wear. And then underneath the arms here, we're going along the sleeves, down the sides of the torso on each side, is actually a mixture of 20% uh, nylon, about 70% rayon, and then about 5-10% uh, spandex in this area. So basically, you, this, um, this section will be plenty breathable, good stretch to it means you can move around nice and easily and uh, obviously it's going to, you know, that's that's where you're going to sweat the most. It's just a fact when you, you know, physical exertion. So those synthetic materials will do a good job of getting rid of that, you know, sweat, just working it away. Got a nice high collar, neck protection from the sun and all the other elements. Got a little sort of a garage here to cover up the top of the zip, keep it rattling around, you know, from quite as much when you're moving. Zip itself, good, uh, good quality one. It's good and chunky and the actual area around the zip is instead of just sewing the zip into the cotton which isn't very durable they've actually you know they've put the nylon cotton all the way around and then you can see on the inside rather than just having the you know the plastic teeth pressing up against your skin against your chest which isn't very comfortable there's a layer of fabric in there as well moving on down the arms got your velcro panels on each side for your patches and then each upper section of the arm has a zipper pocket. Then we get some small items in there. The only problem I sometimes find with zip pockets in arms or like on sleeves on, on shirts and jackets is that because you, it's on one arm, you've then only got that one hand. It, like you try and pull the zip and the material just bunches and then you have to kind of do this weird thing where you like grip the end of the sleeve and like try and pull it up so I can potentially foresee that might happen given the orientation of that zip but you can work around that it's not not the end of the world further down another pocket again 
good quality zippers, everything's colour matched, it's good to see. Also what I really like is that most, well a lot of companies anyway, that are actually, would make stuff you know, more expensive than this, would just leave the zip exposed like so, and whereas Ops have put this, uh, put this pleat extra layer on top of the zip which covers it up, better camouflage, you know, just keeps that pattern continuing rather than having a strip of plain green and it's going to hold down the actual zip pull itself so it doesn't rattle around nearly as much. I, I did notice the pocket is actually... So, so as you can see it's not it's not sort of integrated into the sleeve, it's just loose like that, that's the pocket itself, which I think you know, it could potentially be slightly annoying but again minor gripe, you know, I'm just trying to give you guys as much detail as I can. Ends of the sleeves, cuff area, isn't just a straight cuff as you can see, you can put a contour to it so it fits around the arm a bit more nicely. And then you've got a Velcro tab for actually cinching it down, keeping out the weather and the elements, and uh, fitting it to your actual wrist size. All those features are mirrored on the other arm. Not too much to see on the back. You can see where they've added these, uh, you know, the synthetic uh, fabric sections in here. Quite a advanced, complicated sort of profile to it. You know, it adds a lot more sewing time. But the good thing with this kit is, you know, it is technically made in China, but it's made in Hong Kong. Uh, and you know, I mean, in the day, there's plenty of stuff made in China. iPhones are made in China, and people think of them, you know, as a luxury, as a premium product. Uh, but you know, made in China is not necessarily made in China. This stuff, is it quite, you know, cray or Arcteryx? Not quite, but it's pretty much there and compared to the knockoff clone shit, uh, it's, you know, it's miles ahead really is. Stitching throughout is, uh, you know, I can't fault it to be honest. I've had a good look at it throughout the whole garment and it's spot on. Um, for, you know, on the, on the inside here, for example, you've got these, these flat lock seams which uh, means less sort of itching, irritation, less pressure points against the skin, especially when worn under any sort of armour, something that's pressing down from the outside. On the elbows, again, this is another thing where companies that charge more wouldn't do this. Uh, so you, you pay less and you get a better product with the ops. I think it's pretty impressive. So you've got the Cordura reinforcement panels. This is where your elbow pads are going to sit on the inside. This is 300D on the ATAX and most of the other colour variants it will be 500. It just so happens with the AOR2 NWU3 uh, materials they're not so hard to get hold of so they've gone with 300 but that's going to be end of the day uh, perfectly fine. Uh, you know most companies will just put like another layer of Nyko on top of there. You know, the Cordura is going to last a lot longer than that. Unfortunately, it's not really physically possible for me to show you fitting the elbow pads. I'd have to completely turn the shirt inside out, but basically you just reach up inside and you can feel there's a, it's like, it's like the, a pillowcase sort of thing. It's just like a tuck tab and you slot your elbow pads up inside here. If you so choose, if you don't want them, um, you know, if you're going to be going prone on concrete and that's, you know, the shooting position you're going to be taking, then yeah, advise, uh, you might want them. Personally, I think uh, you know you're probably not going to need them if you're not doing that. So, just depends on the user's preference. Obviously, I will put a link to the store, uh, your attack, where you can pick these up. They do a wide range of colours. Um, the I never actually owned one of the Gen One uh, improved direct action shirts, so I can't do a comparison the Gen One versus Gen Two. But I can certainly say. Uh, this, I think, you know, I've not tested it just yet. This is just, uh, you know, my initial impressions, the construction, the quality that I'm talking about in this video, obviously. Um, but I think just looking at it straight away, obviously, I've seen a lot of, bit of, a lot of bits of different tactical gear in the past. And it's pretty impressive, especially for the price. It's This isn't cheap stuff. You're not, you know, it's not like, you, um, you know, some of the knockoff stuff and some of the more base, like the basic stuff, like... Um, some of the more budget end proper and true spec and that sort of thing. It is pricier than that, but I think the, the quality improvement is definitely proportional to the increase in price. 
So yeah, uh, really nice shirt. Lots of nice little features, few minor, minor bugbears, but um, considering the, you know, there's good availability of these and all the different camos you can get, I'll put a direct link to the page that shows all the camouflage patterns these are available in. And I think it'd be pretty impressed compared to what most other companies are putting out there. Certainly if you were to go on eBay and try and get like a frog shirt in the, uh, the NWU3 pattern, or AOR2, I mean, you pay an absolute fortune. Um, and this, these aren't, you know, knockoff fabrics, it's the real stuff, and then they, which they import. All the fabrics in these are imported from the States, make it in Hong Kong, and then they, you know, ship it all off around the world, all different kinds of people, hobbyists. Uh, I mean, uh, I've seen uh, special forces and police units in sort of Eastern Europe kind of areas wearing their kit. So it is very nice stuff, guys. So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. If you want to keep up with the videos on the channel, uh, there is a, a Facebook page, Twitter, uh, links in the description below, update on those, all sorts of other gear stuff all the time. So check those out. Uh, thanks for all those thumbs up guys, subscriptions, all the shares, all that good shit, much appreciated. And uh, I'll see you next time. Cheers.